So it does change our relationship in the sense that uh, the bank is now going to sell NN insurance and NN investment uh, partner products in the future, so that's a big change. And on the other hand, of course, the relationship is different because you're no longer in the same group and you're working under two different brands and uh, that will change, uh, change our business relationship. On the other hand, it also offers uh, good opportunities because both parties will present themselves more as independent players and will be able to offer uh, other partners and clients uh, their services. Uh, the good news is that we still have a long-term agreement in place with the ING Bank and we're very happy with that. So I would like also to thank Luke and his colleagues for uh, let's say, signing with us a long-term agreement and offering us the opportunity to uh, service them in an NN way in the future. So that's a long uh, story uh, and it refers to our history of uh, more than 170 uh, years. Our new name, NN, derives from Nationale Nederlanden, a well-established brand uh, for more than 50 years. And we can certainly rely on this uh, strong insurance and uh, banking heritage. Moreover, from an NN investment partner's perspective, we can also build on the asset management experience gained in the Dutch pension fund market. The Dutch pension fund market, as you might know, which is a very competitive and a very uh, sophisticated uh, market. Now, looking at it from a pure Luxembourg perspective, although our presence and our history here in Luxembourg is uh, shorter, uh, and then investment partners, uh, we celebrated our 10th anniversary last year, and our colleagues from and then life have, have been uh, present in Luxembourg for uh, 20 years. So although this, this presence uh, is uh, shorter, we will certainly and uh, can build on the strong foundations of uh, an end group for further building our activities here and elsewhere. Changing name also uh, comes with a new responsibility uh, because uh, a new name, a logo, doesn't mean anything. So we as managers, and certainly also each and every staff member, need uh, to fill that name with a meaning so that our clients, our business partners can uh, relate uh, to it. So from a business perspective, not being part anymore uh, of a banking group comes with a certain number of uh, advantages, especially if you look at uh, the current environment, uh, which is more open, which is uh, more regulated, which is also more uh, competitive. In this environment, particularly, a uh, distinct and independent position can uh, help us to access new markets and uh, new uh, clients. Well, I would say our strategy is not really impacted. The strategy was set uh, more than two years ago, where we decided to further diversify and to prepare ourselves for an independent future. So we have been building new products, opening new markets, attracting new partners, uh, attracting new colleagues, investing a lot in knowledge and, and service. 
So from that angle, uh, we will just continue to do that in the future under the NN brand. Of course, the independent status also offers new opportunities because now it's more easy to enter into other banking networks, where in the past the ING brand sometimes was a showstopper because some banks don't want to work with a competing bank. Now we are an independent company with a strong brand, part of a strong group, so that definitely offers new opportunities. In the pocket Oxford Dictionary, in the French Larousse, in the Dikke Vandalen, and then no longer defined as Nomen Nescio, but from now on Nationale Nederland, the Life Luxembourg, and Nationale Nederland Investment Bankers, Investment Partners. Thank you very much. Thank you.